check 53. Watch the slant. Watch the slant. The play action fake. They'll look to throw. They'll roll him out right. Oh, he's going to take a shot right away. And that is incomplete. Took a shot there on first down, but he couldn't reel it in. Well, that certainly looked like something that they discussed all week in practice getting ready for this one. Take the big shot right out of the gate. At worst, you'll open up the defense a little bit, loosen them up, have them back on their heels. There's a ball thrown right side and complete. And he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. And a nice start there to the aerial attack to pick up the first. And I think preseason is officially over now. Getting into the groove of the regular season, that's a great way to get started. First drive of the season, what a nice completion. Now this one to his tight end out on the right side. The completion good for three, and it's second down. That first down completion only netted him three. Second and seven. Here's the second and seven. He'll rifle this one deep right side. This is caught inside the 15. 39 yards there, a big one. Well, how about the passing numbers so far on this first drive? Well, no doubt about it. They're flinging it around pretty successfully. And look at the start, the confidence level. Rush coming, and he's taken down. Chandler Jones, one of the best athletes to ever come out of Rochester, New York, in for the sack. First down, a bit of a disaster, and now on second and goal, back even further. This is caught, Gronkowski. And he'll be brought down here at the three-yard line. They'll give him a dozen on the pitch and catch, but now they're up against a third and goal. They'll set up to throw. Driven it down the field nicely here on the opening drive, but now it's put up or shut up. No doubt about it, because to make that type of a drive and ultimately kick a field goal would feel very disappointing. But I'm just wondering, is the head coach thinking, is this four-down territory? Might he go for it? And Evans hauls it in. Touchdown, Bucks. The three-yard touchdown pass. And the Bucks take the ball down the field and score on their opening drive. Good throw there. And I don't want to blow it too out of proportion, but he looks a lot more comfortable in his second. And we drop you into the start of this next possession. The score, 7-0. They'll try and start this drive in the air. Forced out to his left. And that's caught inside the 35. A big play that time for Tampa Bay. 57 yards. In our pregame meeting, all they talked about was keeping him hemmed in and wanting him to make his throws from the pocket because they knew he was pretty deep. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Chandler Jones able to get in there for his second sack of the afternoon. He'll drop to throw. Well, that's the second. And he's into the end zone. Touchdown, Buccaneers. That's what I'm talking about. Mike that's Evans. The offense set to take the field here as they have the football in the final minute of this first quarter. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. First down, Tampa Bay there, a gain of 13. And this will probably be the last play of the quarter. Through one corner, 14-7, our score. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Now Jones. And he'll muscle his way up to the 43 for a pickup of right around five. Something to watch here in week one of the season, tackling. Because you and I both know that in the preseason, a lot of these guys don't play a whole lot. Plus, the intensity and the speed really ratchets up on opening week. Looking downfield for Godwin. This is caught inside the 15. It's a big play there for the Buccaneers. 47 yards. What a first half this has been offensively. I mean, defensively, what do you do when you're getting torched like this? Now, these receivers are actually wearing them out. So, two thoughts come to mind. One, get some oxygen. You can fill up your lungs a little bit. And number two, talk to your guys up front. You need a pass rush to help slow them down. 
After the incomplete pass, here now is second and ten. Now a second down throw for the end zone, but it's incomplete. Brodkowski again, he was the intended target. Third down here. Now back to throw. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. Once you get into the red zone and the safeties have less ground to cover, you better be quick with your delivery. Not much space to get a ball in there. Yeah, when that field shrinks with those safeties, it's almost like there's a couple extra defenders out there, right? It certainly is. They end up taking up extra space just because there's not enough space for receiving. With a little over two minutes to play in the second quarter, the offense gets ready to take over. They'll come out throwing here on first down. Oh, a battle for it here, and this will be caught. It's a gain of 22 as we tick towards the two-minute warning. And now with that completion, he's north of 200 yards here in the first half. And he's going to break our statistician, Marvin, isn't he? But Marvin right now is just tallying it up. Hope his hand doesn't hurt too much doing this or keeps hitting the calculator. But my goodness, what a start he is off to. By the end of this game, he could have monster numbers. He just wants to continue to be accurate. We remind you that coming up in two minutes, we'll again head down to visit with Jonathan Coachman in Orlando back for another year. We'll have scores from around the NFL here on this opening weekend. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made here at the Cardinals 37. They'll set up a throw. That's caught by the big tight end, O.J. Howard. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. That's good for a Buccaneer first to pick up of 12 yards. Back to throw here. And this is going to be hauled in. Oh, what a catch at the 10. Back-to-back -back nice gains. That one for 14 yards and another first. What a catch and one-handed, and I'm starting to lose my awe about the play, and maybe I shouldn't. How much of this is the player? How much of it is the glove? Well, those gloves, they do have a little grip to them, they don't they? They get a little extra tackiness to them now, and I know the guys in the NFL, the competition committee, some other places, they're talking about examining those gloves to see if they're having too much of an effect on the game. Second and two. And he will score. Touchdown, Tampa Bay. It's their quarterback in the final seconds of the first half. And the Bucs have taken the lead. That's one of the better examples of clock management I've seen. Whittled it all the way down just about and still put the ball in the end zone. Yeah, just a methodical drive and something really to take into the lockers here. It'll be a first and ten coming up as this offense takes over possession of the football in the third quarter. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Chandler Jones getting him once again his third sack of the afternoon. Protection certainly going to need to be a bit better here on second and 16. Second and long. He finds his target. It's Evans. They get 11 back on that one. It leads to third down. And with that last play, he's now up over that 300-yard mark. And in today's NFL, it almost feels routine. And I hate that when you talk about a 300-yard passing game. To me, 300 yards still signifies excellence, and he's achieved that in this performance. That burst, good for 20 and a first down. Back to throw now on first down. He's got it complete to Gronkowski. Now he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. 20 yards on both of those plays back to back there. They are moving now. It's another first down. They'll run on first down. Richard, fifth catch of the game for him there. Yeah, and the tight end position is now becoming a volume pass catcher. It used to be occasional, right? Safety valve. Throw one to him every so often, but more mainly they want him out there to block. Nowadays, an integral part of the passing game, and they create such great mismatches that they often become the leading receiver. Face mask, defense. 
Officials so cognizant of that call nowadays, but that would look pretty easy. Yeah, you're right. They took out of their hands having to wonder whether it's a five yard or a 15 yard inadvertent or not. Now it's a lot easier. You see that he's into the end zone for a Tampa Bay touchdown. A 12 yard touchdown run as the Buccaneers tack on to their lead. Always important to get the first score of the second half. Now you start to pull away a little bit and get some breathing room going. And now we find out about the fortitude of the group that's behind because they were counting on getting into the game a little bit more, right? Maybe they get the first score. That doesn't happen. So the football will be at the 25-yard line as this offense gets set to take over. Steps away to his left. And now he's going to use his legs. Fighting his way through contact. And he'll... Big yardage there on the scramble. It gets him a first down. Partner, it's often the man coverage is easier for a quarterback to run against. You get your receivers going downfield. Those guys are staying with them, and oftentimes they have their back to the quarterback, which opens up a lot of space and room, and they don't even know that he's taken off with it. What a big-time pickup on that play. So into Cardinal territory now. It's first and 10 at the 47. This is Jones. And now running right through it. And he's corralled, but not before getting it inside the 35. 14 yards there and a Buccaneer first down. They're trying to show that they can run the ball and protect this lead. Give it to the backs, play a little bit of keep away, don't you think? And that's probably a good philosophy at this point, going to make that defense stand up and stop them. Now here's a pass on first down that's knocked away and incomplete. He was looking for Chris Godwin that time. And that'll bring up second down. Second and 10. Oh, a scrap for the football, and he's going to come down with it. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made here at the Cardinals 14. That was an excellent read right there. Saw cover one. That means it's just a single high safety. So you know if you throw the ball to the outside part of the field, help is going to be a little bit late getting there, and he puts one out there for a big-time completion. Now a first down carry by Jones. And the stop will come inside the five at the four. Another nice gain. That's now 30 yards between those last two plays. Second down and inches. Toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. And this should be the final play before the quarter ends. They'll look to throw. That's incomplete, but there is a flag down. So hang on. A big call coming on third down. So instead of fourth down, first down. Well, so much for winning the down, you put a lot of emphasis on because third down is key for offense and defense. Instead, you're going to stay on the field. And, and he hauls it in for the Buccaneer touchdown. A one-yard touchdown. Now, following the interception, this offense will get another shot at it. It's a quick jet sweep to start the drive. And he'll be corralled out across midfield down to the 45. It's a gain of 11, and the Bucs have a first down. Well, that play looks familiar because we saw them working on it in practice this week. And for a lineman trying to block on this play, they love when they get the defense moving in one direction. And when they try and change directions, it's a lot easier to pick them up and ward them off. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave them with a second and three. Second and three. That's complete. It's Gordon. And he's going to get this inside the 30. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made here at the Cardinals' 27-yard line. This quarterback now perfect since the second half started. 7-7. Seven of seven. It's first and 10. And only a yard this time as he's taken down right around the 26. The run only got a yard. Here's second and 9. They'll go again to Jones. 
And he is swallowed up right at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play there, so that doesn't help. Now they're looking up at a third and nine situation. He can run for it, and he will. Treads him with a stiff arm. And so close, he gets it to the one. Out of bounds right there. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. And that was a nice, strong run by the guy they called the field general. get them back in this game. I think they just got their spark. No doubt about it, and you know that's all they discussed. How can we get ourselves moving again? How can we get our team going? This definitely qualifies. Both offenses have been clicking in this one. A lot of points on the board. Here's a play fake as they set up to throw. He's going to rifle one deep left side. And that will be incomplete. Would have been a big hitter if they had connected. Instead, it's second down. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Now a nice throw here right side. He hauls it in. Pass the 20. And he gets this one inside the 15, just a yard or two shy of the 10. Here we go. Just more of the same there, partner. Guys have just been running free in the secondary this entire game. No pass rush, a lot of passes completed. Been an easy day for him. And now he'll tuck it and run. So he got free of one tackle, but couldn't do a whole lot else. Give him four yards there on the first down keeper. On second down, Richard. Down under two minutes to go in this football game. So it's Buccaneer football as we welcome you back. They've got it first and goal in the game. And he's in. Touchdown, Buccaneers. Ronald Jones already his second touchdown. Both offenses have been clicking in this with a lot of points on the board. We'll see if that trend continues. On first down, Richard. And that play went nowhere. Losing yardage, it'll be back at the 36. That's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it'll be second down. He has elite instincts from his linebacker spot. He's able to diagnose the run and flies in like a missile to stop that one behind the line of scrimmage. A loss of a yard there to start out. That leads to a second and 11. Second and 11. There goes a deep ball in zone. And that'll be incomplete. Good protection that time, and they couldn't hook up on the long one. Now it's third down. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Richard. And he'll be stopped short of the first down as they rally to tackle him at about the 28. You know, we might start getting some props here in the booth. You know, that one that says the D and then the fence that you put up next to it. How about that? They brought out the jumbo package and still couldn't move them off the line of scrimmage enough to pick up that. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. A big pickup there, 18 yards and a Buccaneer first. Now it looks like he'll throw here. Being chased out left. 
Dancing to his left. And he takes it in for the score on the game's final play. So it doesn't affect the outcome, but a little whipped cream on top to their ending. Or as our friends in Bayou country would say, that's a little lanyap, a little extra on top. One of the fun parts about working with you. Oh, it's a fake. They'll try and throw for it. This is caught. And he will not add two more to the final score. Doesn't matter. This one's over. Well, we saw action to the final whistle in this one. Not only the touchdown at the end to add to their lead, then they tried to put more on top of the two-point <laughs> conversion but didn't get it. That's someone that wants to win and by as many as possible. They don't get the two-point conversion to add on top, but just the idea of going for it with that type of a lead already when they didn't need to do so, that tells you what his mentality is. He's an attack, attack, attack coach. Always attack. So for Tampa Bay, not much to complain about here. They come in and steal a victory in a tough place to play on a Sunday night. And they will head back home next week. Meanwhile, for the Cardinals, they go down to defeat here in the opener. And they'll try to rebound next week on the road in Washington. So for our entire crew, alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. Thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see you next time. Check. Yeah.